just before we begin this, I want to. I was originally going to use the built in webcam on my laptop, but I, at time, well, before this, I didn't want it, and I actually uninstalled it, but I can't seem to reinstall it, so I'm going to have to use Hypercam. So, sorry about that. And if you don't like swearing or shouting, do not watch us. But anyway, let's begin. Peter? Why is it that we just cannot take you seriously as a an alright organisation? I mean, first there was Mario. Well, first there was Cooking Mama, for some stupid reason. Which just proved that you forced your opinions. Then there was, there was Meat Boy, for no apparent reason whatsoever. The only reason they seem to do it is because the main character is made of meat. Does not promote meat in any way, shape, or form, anyway. Then there was Mario, for another retarded reason. The Tunuki suit. Even though he clearly never didn't even get it from a tanuki and from a fucking leaf. And now we have Pokemon. Why? Because apparently Peter can't tell the difference between fiction and reality. Not only that, cause they, but they stole the bloody logo. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if Nintendo sued them. In fact, Nintendo, sue them. Please. It'll really be worth your time. But anyway, let's pick this statement up here. For generations, Pokemon have suffered at the hands of their cruel trainers. Even though Pokemon trainers are mostly friends with their Pokemon. I mean, hell, are some people, some Pokemon actually evolve from happiness. Help Peter. Fuck off. Free Pikachu and his Pokemon friends as they struggle for Pokemon liberation. And what's this? I just noticed this here. I support Team Plasma. This the sign that this Pikachu is holding up. <sighs> oh, Peter, you fucking resorts. Do you, are you even aware what Team Plasma did in Pokemon Black and White? Yes, they were for Pokemon rights. Yeah. However, they steal Pokemon from the trainers, just like. From, from Pokemon trainers, just like any other evil team po in the Pokemon series. They're hypocrites. One instance I can remember off the top of my head is that in this place called the Dream Yard, you see this Pokemon called Mashana, and it apparently does something. Two Plasma Grunts go actually go over and start kicking it in to make it do this thing it does. And three, the whole rights for Pokemon crap was really just a cover up for its leader Gestis or just get this I don't know how you bloody pronounce that name does anyone know how to fucking pronounce that name it was really just a cover up so he can be the greatest strongest Pokemon trainer in the world and take over the world. Yeah, you clearly have not done your research. Got a few more. Oh yeah, that is so edgy, isn't it? Uh... Amount of time Pokemon spent stuffing their Pokeballs, which is actually wrong, but we'll continue on, is akin to how elephants are chained up in train carts. Train carts. Yeah, because Pokeballs are so like Shackles, I mean, really? But seriously, though, you're seriously comparing Pokemon to a fucking circus? You're two completely different things. In fact, a Pokeball is, like I said, is a completely different fucking thing to a chain gang. Uh, and I quote from Poke from Bob Peter. I read this in a official Poke Pokemon publication somewhere. 
I think it was an annual or a book, but I can't remember where I read it. But I read it somewhere. The environment of a pug wall is designed to be attractive to Pokemon. Also, according to Lucian of the Sinu Elite Four, weakened Pokemon instinctively curl up tight in an attempt to heal themselves, an action that the environment of the Pokeball encourages. Furthermore, while it's not known how a captured Pokemon perceives their time in the Pokeball, the device is said to replicate a Pokemon friendly environment that is designed for comfort. All these factors strongly can discourage Pokemon from escaping your, their balls. So there we go. It's a completely different fucking thing to a bloody chain gang waiting to be allowed to perform in circuses. Yeah, I don't remember Pokemon being performing in circuses, nor do I remember beating Ten Bell's shit out of them when they need to forget a move. But the difference between real life and fiction, a world of organized animal fighting, yeah, because you clearly, you should tell that to yourselves. Is that po Pokemon games paint rosy pictures of things that are actually horrible? Even though Pokemon, the Pokemon games are were intended by the creator Sasashi. Tazachi, I can't remember if I said that right. Japanese names don't really do very well with my tongue. Well, my tongue and Japanese names don't really get on very well. I wanted to create a world where there was no no unnecessary violence. This is, which is why every Pokemon faints. You're pretty much doing what many creeper passes do. And besides, Pokemon battles, they never. As soon as a Pokemon is unable to battle, pretty much unable to de defend themselves, the battles are ended, as the anime shows. It never gets too far. And again, more proof that you clearly don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And we have this. If Peter existed in Unova, well, you kind of did in the form of Team Plasma. But like I said, Team Plasma was really a cover-up. Our motto would be, Pokemon are not ours to use or abuse. They exist for their own reasons. Oh, really? Oh, fucking really? Pokemon... Are pretty much tools. You think people think of them as, as that? And tell me, Peter, what do you think of this scene from the Pokemon anime? Yes. At the main protagonist, Ash, is stuck in a blizzard. His Pokemon come out of their Pokeballs and hold up to him. They all intend to freeze to death together. Poke people thinking Pokemon are tools. My fucking ass. We believe this should be a, this is the message that should be sent to children. Oh, oh, great, wonderful. You're actually aiming this at children. Wow, why do I get the feeling that you've just gone too, way too far? Right. You know what? Let's play this. As battle and Pokemon grew in popularity, gen generations of children were growing up believing that Pokemon exists. For no other reasons than to be used and abused by, hum by humans. Go back to... The anime clip that I used a few seconds ago because I cannot be fucked to repeat myself. Children learn about do world dominance instead of compassion, which is actually wrong. Trainers do use compassion instead of dominance. It's only really. only like. two characters in both the games and the anime I can think of 
aside from the evil teams that are dominant use dominance that was the silver Pokemon generation 2 rival and Paul in the anime who's a massive prick while Pokemon faced the worst as abuse children also started bullying each other the fuck did children bullying each other come into this until one Pokemon decided he had enough get ready to fight yeah Root hug what the fuck How unlike Pokemon, this is actually bloody monotonously boring. I mean, there's hardly no strategy to this whatsoever. Really, I'm going to be honest, there is just no strategy. Uh, there's no. weaknesses to take advantage of. What's this? What is this? Yeah, that is wonderful, Vita. Make one of the coolest characters in black and white look like a complete ass wipe. Yeah, I just lost all my respect for you. Anyway, well, actually, to be fair, I never had any respect to, for you anyway. Apparently, if you beat this, yeah, apparently, if you beat this, it actually shows. Pictures of sorted animals. Yeah, you know, for kids, for children. But seriously though, Peter, you really have gone way too far this time. You're taking something way too fucking seriously. Something that is aimed for children. Sure, adults pay it, but still. This is probably the worst Peter I've ever done, really. The most stupidest. I mean, oh look, and even though they're animal rights activists, they do not do their fucking job properly. Which makes me glad that the we don't, that us Britons don't fucking have these retards. In fact, we have a better. In fact, in, us Brits have a better. No, what? I feel like I said better. Better organization called the RSPCA. Well, they're not as bad as Peter, and they don't really do. Well, they don't really. Well, actually, no, they're complete, almost completely different. They do a much fucking better job. The RSPCA do. They do definitely. Is any stupid thing? In fact, most animals that they have. They fucking kill. And it's on the shit on the kids. Yay, cause as we all know For children Oh my god, Peter. Really. If you're trying to give Pete give a message to children Don't fucking 
traumatize them. I mean, that's not how it bloody works. <sighs> Seriously. Next time you do shit, shit like this, I am not ranting about them. I am not going to be talking about them either. They do not deserve the attention. In fact, that's all they're doing this for is attention. Just like last time with Super Mario. They're just latching on to a big release. Which is retarded. Ugh, my god. My apologies. But I really have to add to get that out of my chest. Off my chest. Hopefully this was much better than the last round I did about the, on Mario. And this one was actually completely unscripted. For that I have to say I did do an impressive job. There were one or two moments of dead silence. But I'll see you next time for more videos. And check out other rants on these. And when is Brental Floss actually going to do a rant on this? Rant on this old palaver. <laughs>